Hello, it's Friday the 23rd. I'm FX Plu and 10 minutes ago it was hooning it down here. But look at us now. Summer's already made a comeback ahead of the bank holiday weekend. Now, the Bank of England can afford to wait before cutting rates and this will allow inflation to settle back down. Inflation did rise to 2.2% in July after two months at the 2% target. But the vast improvement in growth and economic activity affords the MPC the luxury of time. Jeremy Hunt still lays claim to that growth, despite being stung by criticism over his handling of the economy and being blamed for the financial black hole. He claims the increased growth since January is all still part of their plan. And he claims that this will generate higher tax revenue, while lower unemployment will of course mean lower benefits costs going forwards too. Clearly, He's making the case against Labour's plans to raise tax in the autumn budget, but the position and the economic growth are probably going to be too little too late, especially as Reeve still needs to cover the cost of those public sector pay deals. Over in the US, all eyes are on Jackson Hole. Powell will make an important speech to kick off the symposium, as the market now firmly believes that the time has come for a rate cut from the Fed. Over the past year, Powell has pushed back pretty hard against calls for a rate cut, feeling that the economy could withstand any recession risk as he preferred to focus on combating inflation. But then the July employment data showed 114,000 new jobs. And since then, the historical numbers have also been revised lower. Q1 new jobs revised down to 881,000 and the 12 months to March saw over 800,000 new jobs written off. So where this has rightly been taken as the labour market being weaker than previously expected, calls for a rate cut have ramped up significantly. Sterling has benefited from this. Where the MPC looks likely to pause, the idea of a US rate cut has helped sterling up over 131 against the dollar. However, bear in mind Powell is still pretty hawkish. The Fed has never previously cut rates into a growing economy and inflation has still not met the 2% target. Typically, Jackson Hole does not focus on interest rate policies either, but the idea that Powell may break with tradition introduces a volatility risk for this evening. Ahead of that, we head towards the weekend from around 131.15 against the dollar, 117.90 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 111.25 on the open this morning. And that's it from me, capping off another week, heading towards the bank holiday weekend. I wish you all the very best and thank you again for joining me. Leaves me with one thing. See you next Tuesday. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.